This video will demonstrate how to uh, capture and enter a patient payment inside Metasoft. To do this, uh, you usually do this whenever you put in a transaction, but I split it out separately. We're going to go to Activities, and then again Enter Transactions. We'll be doing this on Hiro Tanaka. Her information is found in the PDF that is in the Week 9 folder under Assignments. So I'm going to type in T for Tanaka. Remember I am in the Transaction Entry window. It is split into three parts. The top part is a summary of the patient's um, outstanding monies, uh, who their insurance plan is, the last date they came to see us, a, a lot of variety of bits of information. So I've selected my patient as Hiro Tanaka. Again, I'm going to make sure that I have the correct case. A patient can have multiple open cases. So in this case, um, Hiro Tanaka was in to see us for back pain, and that's the only thing that's existing. But I'm going to always check. So once I click the drop-down arrow, I'll get a reminder box. Don't forget that this patient has allergies to penicillin. I'll say OK to this. The drop-down box opens up, and I can see there's only one case here. So that's good. And in our previous video, I walked you through how to enter in a procedure. Now the bottom part of this window, that takes care of the middle part of the window. The bottom part takes care of payments. Not all payments, but in this case, a patient payment. And it's very easy to do. Um, looking at our source document for Hiro Tanaka, which is the encounter form, I can see at the bottom of the encounter form uh, that she paid $20. It was a copay, it, though it doesn't indicate it's a copay. Remember our little reminder that popped up that said we had to collect $20 from the patient. So we're making the assumption that it is for her copayment, and she wrote us a check, and the check number is number 123. If you don't know where I got that information, let me tell you again, it came from a document that I sent and is found in Blackboard under Assignments Week 9, and it's titled PDF Encounter Forms. So I'm going to put a payment in at the bottom, and again, making sure that my date reflects the date that the patient was here, which was October the 3rd. I'm just going to click in the date, and it will automatically populate with the, the date of the day that we're putting this in. Payment Adjustment Code. Now, you're going to click on this drop-down arrow here and select the best option that you have for what, where is this payment coming from, what is the code for this. When you click the drop down arrow you'll get partial information and you can scroll through it. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger as we work. I'm going to click on this little magnifying glass and a separate window will open up which will give me a nice view of everything that our software has already been preloaded with. Um, a code for what does this mean? And usually what you'll see is the way Metasoft, this, they have it set up here, is that it's by insurance plans. So AARP, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Capitation, Champa, East Ohio, Medicaid, Medicare, etc., etc. I'm going to cancel out of this a moment so that I can show you I can easily look at this screen and determine who Hiro Tanaka's insurance plan is without having to leave this window right here. See where it says Ohio CA? If I click on that, it's Ohio Care HMO. That came back from whenever I originally uh, created a case for Hero Tanaka. It saved it and then loads it in this window so that I can easily see it. So now that I know who her insurance plan is and I know that this is $20 to go toward her copayment, I'm going to come back down here, click on this payment adjustment code. And again, for our purposes, I'm going to make this bigger so that we can see this. I'm going to scroll down to the Ohio Care, and you can see there are several choices. For most of the insurance plans, there are several choices, and you have to kind of keep your wits about you and make the correct choice. This is a copayment, $20. You can see that. Check copayment. I'm going to click on that. Come down here, click OK, and it fills in the adjustment code. I don't have to type anything. And this is the nice next little fun part. When you press tab, 
it will automatically populate the fields with the name of the guarantor, the amount, uh, and all I have to do is if I would like I can put in a description. I don't really want to today. There's nothing I need to put in here. It's very straightforward. So I'm going to come over here and put the check number in. Check number 123. Okay, almost done. One other thing that we have to do is notice this bright red color indicates that that's a visual cue for you that you need to do something further and that is to apply this money. This money can't sit in here in this account without going towards something and the logical $20 fee or $20 copay will go toward logically this procedure that was performed which is the office procedure. Now I want you to note the differences in colors. Once I come down here and tell the software to apply this money. Give it just a moment here. I'm going to click on apply and it brings up a dialog box with a summary of all procedures currently performed on Hiro Tanaka. This is very easy. We've only had one procedure that she's experienced so we're going to click in this under this payment. Uh, I'm going to type in 20. I don't even have to type in 00. zero. When I click anywhere in this white box, notice that my unapplied up here of 20 went down to 0 and the $20 is here. I'm going to click on close and look at the difference in colors. The red is no longer there. When it's white it indicates that the there are no outstanding monies and our gray procedure changed to aqua indicating gray indicated there was no money that had been paid toward this. Now aqua indicates that it has been partially paid. Now notice that this hasn't changed yet and this will not change until I click on save transactions. I'll click on this. Again, I'll always get this statement. This case requires a $20 copay. Just say OK to that. Here my dollar figure has changed. $20 has been subtracted and there's my account total. And that takes care of uh, applying a payment, receiving and applying a payment.